Hi, my name is Ale, and in this video we're going to learn how to use the App Storage Property Wrapper to store data for an app, as well as how to use a toggle and a rotation animation with Swift UI. App Storage is a Swift UI property wrapper that lets us easily store small pieces of data in the form of key value pairs. Values annotated with App Storage are automatically read and saved to user defaults. Since App Storage is a dynamic property, whenever the value of a specific user defaults key changes, Swift UI will automatically update your view to reflect this change. If you're not familiar with user defaults, the most important thing to know is that user defaults is the database where you can store key value pairs persistently across launches of your app. Like I mentioned, user defaults should be used to store small pieces of data. For example, you can store the currently logged in user of your app, or you can also store user preferences or settings, for example, whether the user has notifications enabled. For larger databases, I recommend you use something like core data. Now let's try some code to see app storage in action. We're going to create a simple UI that changes based on the value of a toggle. Let's add a state variable called lights on with an initial value of false. At state private var lights on, which is a boolean, and initially will be false. Now let's define five other variables whose value will depend on the value of lights on. First, we're going to define a variable called background color, private var background color, which is of type color, and if the lights are on, then we're going to use white, otherwise we're going to use black. Now let's define the foreground color, private var foreground color, which is of type color. If the lights are on, the foreground color will be black, otherwise the foreground color will be white. Next, we're going to add an image name private var image name which is a string if the lights are on then we're going to return the string sun dot max dot fill otherwise we're going to return moon dot fill next we're going to add the image color private var image color, which is of type color. If lights on is true, then we're going to return dot yellow, else we're going to return blue. Finally, we're going to add a string that we will show in a text. So private var text, which is of type string. If the lights are on, then we're going to return turn the lights off else we're going to return turn the lights on cool now let's actually use these variables in the ui of our app so let's get rid of this text and the first thing we're going to add here is a z stack in this stack, we're going to add the background color dot ignoring safe area with dot all for the edges. And then after our background color, we're going to add a vertical stack or V stack. In this stack, we're going to have the image and the text and the toggle. Let's first uh, change the alignment for our stack. The alignment will be of uh, center. Now the first thing we're going to add to our VStack is a spacer. Then we're going to add the image, image, system name, and here we're just going to use the image name variable that we defined earlier. Now we're going to modify our image. First we're going to give it a font with a system size of 88. Then we're going to change its foreground color 
and this will be the image color variable that we defined earlier. We're going to add some padding. And now after our image, we're going to add another spacer. After our spacer, we're going to add the text. So let's add here text and the content of this text will be the text variable that we defined. And we're going to make some modifications here as well. So we're going to change the font to be large title. And we're going to make the text bold. Now, after our text, we're going to add the toggle that will change the value of the lights on variable. So let's add here a toggle. And for the title, we're just going to use an empty string. We don't want to show a title. And for the is on parameter, we have to pass a binding to a Boolean variable. So to use a binding, we use the dollar sign. And here we're going to use lights on. Um, and we're also going to make sure that we hide any labels using the dot labels hidden modifier. Great. Now the last thing we're going to do is change the foreground color of our stack. So uh, here we're just going to use the foreground color variable that we defined as well. Now since all of these variables depend on the value of lights on, whenever lights on changes, then uh, the variables will be updated and our UI will be updated as well. So for example, the image name will change or the image color as well as the text. So let's go ahead and run our app and see how it looks. Cool, so as you can see, we have our image, our text and our toggle. And if we press the toggle, we can see that our image changes, its color changes, um, the background color changes, the foreground color changes, so the color of the text, and now the toggle is on. And we can do this many times and our UI should be updated. Now, uh, one thing that will happen is that our initial value is false. So if we kill our app and then we open it again, we're going to see that whatever value we left our app on is could be lost. So let's say I turn the lights on, then kill the app, then open it again. And now we can see that the lights are off or basically the uh, lights on variable is false. That's because we're not storing the, the state of the variable. And this is where app storage comes in and it makes it super simple to store this value. So to use app storage, all we have to do now is instead of using this state property wrapper, we're going to use the app storage property wrapper. So we can get rid of this state and we can add app storage. And we have to provide a key that will be used to store our value. So we can store it with the key light on. And so now, whenever you use the app storage property wrapper with the, with the key lights on, we're going to receive this Boolean value. And uh, this value can also be used across different screens. So whenever you provide this key, we're going to be able to access the same value in our app. So let's run our app again. Great, so as you can see right now, the lights on variable is false, so we can see the blue moon with a uh, black background. Now, if we press the toggle, the value changes. So let's kill our app and see if when we open it again, we have that same state saved. Great, so as you can see, the lights on variable is true because that's what was saved to user defaults. Let's turn the lights off and kill our app, open it again. Great, now let's turn the lights on again. Killer app and open it again. And as you can see, the state of the lights on variable was correctly saved. Great, so now we're going to make one final modification to our, our app so that we can see a slight uh, animation when the value of lights on changes. 
So what I'm going to do is first, I'm going to define a variable called rotation. So that state private var rotation, and this will be a double, which is initially zero. Now to enable an animation, whenever uh, the toggles uh, value changes, all we have to do is add here after lights on dot animation. And uh, what this will do is that whatever other variables depend on the value of lights on, um, they will be animated in, in the UI. Now, I want to disable animations for the text. So I'm going to add here the animation modifier and pass none. Um, for the image, I want to use a rotation effect. So what I'll do here is use rotation effect dot degrees and here I'm just going to pass the rotation and uh, the animation that we'll use here will be is in out with a duration of one. Um, now all we have to do now is uh, make sure that this rotation value is updated so as you can see, it will start out as zero. So what I'll do is I'm going to use the onChange modifier so that whenever the value of lights on changes, then I'll update the value of the rotation. So let's add here dot on change of lights on. And the action that I want to perform is um, if the new value of lights on is true, so if value, then rotation plus equal 360. Uh, that means just go uh, clockwise with a 360 degrees, else rotation minus equals 360. Cool, so let's go ahead and run our app again to see these animations. Okay, so if we turn the lights off, you see that the uh, animation was negative. Now, if we turn the lights on, you can see that the degrees changed by 360. And um, you can also notice that there is a small animation for the background color, so it doesn't change immediately. It, it kind of fades from one color to the other. So you can see it here. And I think there's a way to see it more slowly. So if we tap here on debug and we uh, select these slow animations, we should be able to see the animations uh, at a slower pace. Cool. So that way you can see the rotation as well as how the, the color changes with a slight uh, fade from black to white or white to black. Great, so that's all I wanted to show you in this video. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new. If you want to learn more about uh, Swift, Swift UI, and iOS development, make sure to subscribe to my channel as I'll be posting new videos very soon.